evaluate the limit as you could see down below it's uh, involving infinity and we just can't uh, deal with it as is so we need to uh, simplify with some technique To evaluate the limit or state that it does not exist involving infinity as you could see the limit as x approaches infinity we have to treat it and deal with it differently than normal limits when x approaches a certain number like 5. As x approaches or becomes large both numerator and denominator becomes large so it's not obvious what happens to the ratio. The idea here, when we deal with rational functions like this one here, is to evaluate the limit at infinity of any rational function. We first divide both the numerator and the denominator by the highest power of that that occurs in the denominator. In this case, the highest power is 2, the second degree. So by focusing on the denominator and the highest degree right here, we need to simplify and divide by that much x to the second to force it to be 1. So as you could see, we're focused on x to the second. So I change the color to blue to stay focused. And we need to divide top and bottom side by x to the second. That means every single term. And that's how it looks like. Now, I know this is 1 and this is 1. Uh, we could simplify this as 2 over x but the main part is this right here to simplify this i need to break it down and remind you of the rules if you don't have it handy and if you need help uh, the reason why i do this because it doesn't hurt to have the notes on the side for uh, some students that they need more details so here we go uh, square root of x differently as a power rule is x to the power one half a to the power m over a to the power n is a to the power m minus n so we subtract exponents when we divide powers with the same base if you have a negative exponent like negative m we could take the reciprocal and make it positive exponent uh, same thing if it's the other way around if you have the negative exponent down by taking the reciprocal, you're flipping it and you have a to the power m. Uh, another power rule that a power of a power, a to the power m to the power n is a to the power m times n. So we multiply the exponents. Now, those are basic uh, power rules. We're focused on this part right here and that's what I carried to the side. One way to handle it is the following. We know that the square root of x is x to the power 1 half. So we have x to the power 1 half over x to the second. And we could apply this rule right here on top. Now, by subtracting m minus n, in this case, 1 half minus 2. And 1 half minus 2 is negative 3 halves. Now, if you have a negative exponent, you take the reciprocal and make it positive. And that is what I have. So this simplifies to 1 over x to the power 3 over 2. So as I mentioned earlier, this is 1 and we could see it. This is also 1 and it's right there. 2x over x to the second, 1x will simplify, will cancel. We end up with 2 over x and this part right here is this part that we did on the side and one thing that we could refer to and use is the following the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x is 0 so just by applying the limit to each part in the denominator and denominator limit of 1 as x approaches infinity is just 1 same thing right here this right here will take me to 0 
as x approaches infinity. 2 over x will go to 0 as x approaches infinity also. So what we have is 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1, which is 1. And that should do it for this problem. But sometimes it's not uh, what you have is just like square root of x in your way. It could be more than that. So let me show you some quick ideas. Square root of x over x to the second, another way to do it, is you take the x to the second inside the square root, but that's x to the 4. Of course, it stays in the denominator. Then inside we have x over x to the 4, and that is uh, 1 over x to the third. The square root is 1 half. We know that the square root is 1 half. Applying this power rule, we end up with same answer like before after we apply the 3 over 2 to both sides. So, same answer. However, sometimes you might end up with a square root of x plus 1 that you want to divide by x to the second. So, how do you do this? So, if I have square root of x plus 1 over x to the second from the previous steps right here, we could just use this concept and change x to the second to x to the 4 inside the square root. Then we could break it down. That's called distributive. x over x to the 4 and 1 over x to the 4. And this part right here simplifies to 1 over x to the 3rd. And we could uh, then apply the limit as x approaches infinity. So the main idea is right here to go after the highest power of the terms in the denominator and divide. To divide by x to the second, you might end up with square roots or square root of x plus 1 or things of that nature. And that should do it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.